For this module, we're looking at reference card on New York City, Manhattan. It's the center of the art world. I try to make a trip there once or twice a year. I try to go at Christmas when it's uh, cold and snowy and allows me to have a little bit of winter away from Las Vegas. But while I'm there, I always plan out my trip. So I'll go to the Guggenheim that you see here, or the Metropolitan, or Central Park, or sometimes all museums they four or five they have the Guggenheim Museum is designed by Frank Lloyd Wright it's a beautiful design unique it's it's circular so that the paintings are hung on the you, you walk around as you can see in the interior there how it's circular the paintings would be on the wall and it kind of goes up so you gradually go up to the next level but it's completely circular Museum of Modern Art is in Midtown and it's close to uh, Times Square has a variety of exhibitions. It's got a great uh, permanent collection, an ongoing change, you know, new exhibitions, which most of the museums. The Metropolitan's focus, it, while it has contemporary shows, it's much more in depth in terms of historical relevance and you know, goes back to the very early paintings and sculptures created. But New York also has a gallery district in Chelsea and uh, Soho and uh, Uptown so that you, you can go to these areas, like in Chelsea, for instance, there would be galleries from 24th Street up to 29th or 30th. And if you walk down each of these streets, you're going to encounter about 10, 10 galleries on each side of the uh, street. And uh, so you can go in and out and see these different works. There's usually not enough time to see everything in every gallery. So what I usually do is walk in, and if I get a feel for the work, I stick around, and if there's something else I want to move, if I don't like the work or whatever, I just move on because it changes uh, every month. Anyway, it's a great New York's a great place to visit, and culture is everywhere, and it's just a great opportunity. Now, on this next card, the following card, uh, there's an artist, uh, Marilyn Minter, who is a painter. Her paintings uh, are photographic looking. She also shows photographs, large photographs. A couple of the examples on the card are photographs. A couple of these are enamel paintings, and they're very contemporary, heavily related to advertising. I think a number of her works are, four or five of them are in collections in Las Vegas. And uh, Our former grad students uh, were art handlers, and so they would deliver uh, these paintings to uh, famous, you know, wealthy people's houses, and uh, they would t to come back and tell me, oh, we delivered a Marilyn Minter. So she's very popular at the moment, easy to impress because of the, uh, the qual technical quality. She's just somebody else for you to consider in how you look at art at this point in the class.